Greetings, family, and welcome to another episode of Ask Dr. Mumbi. My name is Dr. Mumbi Saraki. How you doing? How's everything going? This is basically a segment of the show where we get, you know, where we take all your questions. We get so many questions, family, in our emails, in the comments, uh, on Facebook, in our DMs and Instagram, and we usually just pick the one that seems to be in alignment with the vibration and energies of the time or the one that a lot of people are asking for. And we recently released a show about... Um, what it means to connect to our ancestors, where we were talking about how your ancestors make you superhuman, because instead of having only your information available to you, you now have the skills and information and powers of the ancestors that you connect to, family, because you are literally a medium. You're literally a channel for others, you know, and, and you have to start seeing yourself. All kinds of information is always flowing through us. That's why Babylon is constantly just bombarding us with information, because information is what shapes reality. And the more information you have, the more you're able to shape reality. So please check out that show. Uh, it will really help you to over in and understand the importance of connecting to your ancestors. And the, 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 the further back you can go, the better. Um, but before you even get into that, special shout out to Beverly B, who is the sponsor of today's show. And um, she has released this album called Ancient Sound uh, Healing Therapy Volume 1. Definitely check it out, family. Not only does she have, um, so, like, I, I want to call them songs, but like, like, I don't even want to call them. They're not lullabies, but she she has a melody for each chakra, which will help you to heal and rebalance each chakra. But there's also very many different lullabies that will help to connect and reconnect and heal and transform you. So definitely check it out. And she's actually um, got a special promotion right now where if you get uh, ancient sound healing therapy, uh, you will receive 50% of her womb healing session and... Trust me, for the, you guys who have been getting in touch about fibroids and just issues with the womb, uh, you know, the womb is a stargate. It's another show I've done. Definitely check it out. Your womb is a stargate, I think was the title of that one. But if you can really, you know, tap into this, because a lot of us women, all our pain, all our anger, all our anguish, comes here. All our trauma comes here because the womb is the strongest part of us. But it's stored here in the so that we can deal with it later. It's never stored here so it can become a part of our womb. But those are stories of for other days. So a lot of you guys have been asking, how do you get in touch with your ancestors? How do you get in touch with your ancient ones? Um, and I feel like I've done this before, family, but it's never, you know, these are things you can repeat over. Maybe I'll say it in a different way this time that will hit people different. But really, family, it's about getting in touch with yourself, being comfortable, getting to know yourself to a certain level. Because as I just said, you're a channel. So most of the time, there's so many voices and ideas and knowledge and information being dropped in your spirit. Now, the way Babylon has brainwashed us and designed us and groomed us to think is that all of those things are our thoughts alone and we're the only ones in here or in here or wherever you want to think. But to be very honest, family, it's more like we're a radio antenna that's picking up different information spiritually and physically as well, but mainly spiritually. So a lot of the thoughts that we have, especially those aha moments, are not our own. They are coming from somewhere else. And that's why it is so important to first know thyself, to know what your thought process sounds like, what, what your voice sounds like when you're conversating with yourself. And then to start to identify what are those other voices in your head. I know this sounds crazy, but if you are on an awakening journey, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you're sensitive and intuitive, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And maybe it's just never been put this way. But you have to start realizing what is yours and what is not yours, family. And then start requesting a connection with your ancestors and your ancient ones. Everything is here right now. 
All our ancestors are here right now. Every lifetime they lived is here right now. Separation is a myth, family. But before you even start to even get in touch with your ancestors, make sure that you are in your highest vibration for our family. Because as I always say, you attract who you are, not what you want. So may, you may want to connect with the, the ancestors in your bloodline that are connected to the ascended masters and are connected to God and are closest to God and have the greatest powers. But you only can to connect to those who you are and who you are is about the quality of your heart. So you always have to be working to bring up the quality of your heart, which means release the hurt, release the, release the resentment, release the pain, work through your issues. Because if you're, if you're almost down and out family and you contact an ancestor, you'll probably contact that alcoholic uncle who loved to party and was just destructive and wants to get high again through you by, you know, Possessing your spirit stories for the days. But your ancestors are with you, family. Ask them to identify themselves. Ask through them to reveal who they are. And of course, shut the door on any low vibrational ancestors that may be coming in. Ask for only those who are there to guide and to teach you and to lead you to your highest self, to lead you to your highest home. There's a lot of my African-American family that reaches out to me and my Caribbean family that say, you know, cause I always talk about how one of the exercises when I was in, you know, high priestess school or whatever you want to call it. One of the exercises we did was we would write out like till the 14th generation. If you could go back, you could, but you would write out the names of your ancestors. And you see among the Agikoyo nation, like I'm named after my grandmother. We have a very specific name proce naming process. So no one ever really died because their spirit was always being reincarnated in the children. And because I am Mumbi, my grandmother, although on my mother's side, although to be honest, I should have been named Nyada the grandmother on my grandfather's, on my father's side. But, you know, with, they, with all these things that they tried to do to the chosen one's family, those are stories for other days. But if I trace back, I can know, you'll get the, 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 the line of the descendants. Because you see, for us, Hikoyo and Mumbi had 10 daughters, nine that are acknowledged, 10. We don't have a 10 in the Agekoyo. It doesn't exist. So, you know, it's a whole... That's a whole other story, family. But the Agekoyo have nine clans. And so in our naming process, we're able to go back to the clans that we belong to. And it's funny because I, was, I met someone the other day who was telling me that there's so few Mumbis that like they've only met two, three Mumbis ever in their lives. There are very few Mumbis. But it's important to, if you can, to write down the names. But if you cannot family, set up a space for the ancestors where you can commune with them, where you can sit with them. And it's not so much about even sitting with them because they're always with you, but it's taking a time out from life where you just sit for a few moments and ask them to reveal themselves, to tell them, to tell you who they are family. It's, it's not rocket science, it's not complicated. It's just, these are, this is the hidden knowledge because the spiritual world is here. It's here. It's just, well, the vibration of the world is so low that we're still seeing everything as solid. But everything, even this pink couch is vibrating family, is, is literally atoms. Everything is going like this. But if you can start to tune your mind to the channel of the ancestors family and make time for them, then they will reveal your, they will reveal themselves to you. If you have the opportunity family, like we have a family grave. If you have an opportunity to visit a family grave or a family shrine, or even just the home of your ancestors, that too will connect you and just get curious about our story. 
because some of us have found, okay, we're connected to the Agekoyo nation, but we actually came all the way from Egypt and our, herit our inheritance and the actual, you know, um, ancestors and ancient ones that we're working with are what they call Egyptian gods and goddesses. Some of us are descendants of Sekhmet. Some of us are descendants of Hathor. Some of us uh, went to the schools of Isis and have that magical knowledge in us. And that's why even sometimes writing those names can help, but just communing, please family, the world wants to keep us so busy because this is the time when we should just be sitting quietly and listening. Because for the first time in a very long time, our ears are now open. And there's so much more I could say. I'm actually gonna do a course on this because I think it's so there's so many layers to this family to make sure you're connecting to the right ancestors. But just that desire and intention in you to connect already starts to build that connection. Anyway, special shout out to Beverly B. Definitely family. Um, get her album. Uh, you can get it on her website, www.beverlybmusic.com. Um, you can put, you know, and you can take take advantage of this offer of getting 50% off her womb healing session. And definitely check out her YouTube family. She is starting to post more videos out there. If you'd like to get a bit more understanding of what this sound healing is all about, about. I've seen those questions, family. If you'd like to get that, do that. And she will, she is doing more live on her YouTube. I'll put all the links down. I think it's Beverly B or Beverly B Music, but I'll put all the links down below. You can see them right here. Until next time, family. Tuko pamoja.